This is John Paul Ryan coming to you from Tokyo, Japan. Got an article here about Meghan Markle and Prince Harry's rep break silence on reports they're doing a reality show. And it looks like the Sun newspaper, some people call them toilet paper, actually reported on this. And it looks like the Sun was wrong. They get it wrong a lot. They get sued a lot. They're being sued by Harry. Let's take a look at this. The Sun ran a questionable report this morning claiming a source told them that Meghan Markle and Prince Harry have agreed to do a reality show for Netflix and let cameras document their day-to-day -day lives. And I'll tell you something, when somebody is a celebrity or a star and they've got like no fucking talent, they're not funny, they've got nothing to do to stay relevant, they do a show about like their life. Shortly after the story was published and picked up by page 6, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex rep shut down the claims. For context, the Sun source claimed that the Netflix Far in the Wall documentary will be tasteful. They want to give people a glimpse into their lives. They may have had all these lofty ideas about producing epics highlighting environmental issues and the poverty gap, but Netflix obviously want their pound of flesh. The outlet claimed that Megan is desperate for people to see the real horror. As if anybody actually gives an SHIT. I can't speak for a fact. I mean, if you're passing by here, let me know. Do you really care if, like, Meghan Markle cooks eggs at 7 o'clock, and then she watches The View at 12, and then she takes a bath at 6, and then Harry reads the newspaper, or, I don't know, whatever, during the daily day? Do you actually care what they think about environmental issues or poverty? They have to talk about poverty? How about donate some money? How about buy some poor people who are struggling some things to live? There's an idea. The Sussexes rep made it clear that the Sun story is pure fiction. Pure fiction. Well, I mean, we're fucking used to that from the Sun. That's nothing new here. Royal reporter Ahmed Scooby tweeted, that a Sussex rep told him that the couple are not taking part in any reality shows. So, anything you hear from The Sun, I guess just throw it out the window, ignore it, whatever. Turns out it's usually a lie, a smear, or just not true at all. Scooby was told that the only shows in development now are the ones we have previously confirmed. A nature docuseries and an animated series celebrating inspiring women, he tweeted. Pretty obvious this was false but a Sussex rep says the couple are not taking part in any reality shows. Source adds that the only shows in development now are the ones we have previously confirmed, which he said right up here. Okay, we get it. So I guess you guys might have heard that the Queen is not very happy with Harry being with Meghan Markle and not very happy with Harry being out and about living a private life. It's going to be, you know, quite a bit of drama coming up People speculate they'll eventually get divorced. People speculate that she's kind of controlling him, which I could see, because I suppose in some ways he is naive to the world outside of him and that there are Amber Heard's in the world and Meghan Markle's in the world and things like that who are going to try to twist you, get things from you, and get what they want. So it seems here there might be some complications coming up. So this tweet here says, Buckingham Palace has said it won't comment on the Duke of Sussex remarks about voting. We would not comment. The Duke is not a working member of the royal family and comments he makes are made on a personal capacity. Excuse me, in a personal capacity. You guys, of course, let me know what you think down below. Doing shoutouts, special thanks, things like that. Gotta do more shoutouts next week. I just can't quite get to them because they're on my cell phone and my cell phone's like replacing my webcam because my webcam's messed up. It's a mess. I rambled right there. We're done. See you next time.